Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Rainex, Hum by Verizon, State Farm, and WeatherTech. We constantly rave about Porsches and particularly the 911 as being the very definition of effortless performance with precision. But there is a more sinister side to Porsche and the 911, and it's this GT2 RS. Now, like most cable news talking heads, it's bold, brash, borderline offensive, but also very fast. And we just can't get enough of it. The current generation 991 Porsche 911 in any of its endless variants is far from ordinary. But there's always the chance to take things to the extreme, which is exactly what Porsche did by creating this 911 GT2 RS. Now, some may see just a gussied up rear drive 911 turbo, but it's light years more than that. It does feature the Turbo S's 3.8 liter flat six, but Porsche engineers boosted the heck out of it to the tune of 700 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. That's 120 more horsepower than the Turbo S and 330 more than you'll find in a base 911. And sure, that might be 140 horsepower less than a Dodge Demon, but hey, we're also dealing with about a thousand fewer pounds here. PDK only for the transmission with the requisite upgrading to handle the additional power as well as shuttle you to 60 in 2.7 seconds. You heard me. But rather than just cramming bigger turbos on it and calling it a day, Porsche engineers moved on to the suspension, getting rid of just about anything that flexes even a bit. Next on the checklist was eliminating weight. Front fenders and the cargo compartment lid are carbon fiber, while the roof panel is magnesium and the exhaust system is titanium, accounting for 15 pounds all on its own and sounding awesome as well. If weight is really an issue for you, the radio and AC can be eliminated, and even more pounds can be shaved with an optional Y-Sock package, which includes magnesium wheels and a lot more carbon fiber. Of course, aero has been enhanced to create more downforce, and they managed to squeeze in 325 rubber on the 21-inch rear wheels, 265 on the front 20s. Climb in and you quickly notice the carbon fiber full bucket seats that give new meaning to highly bolstered. Start driving and you experience the kind of response you could only wish for out of your teenager. Tell it to do something and it just does it immediately without question. So it's on you to make sure you give it proper commands. And we did our best at Summit Point Motorsports Park in West Virginia. This is not a car for inexperienced or timid drivers. It demands decisive action and full commitment once you crank the wheel and pin the gas pedal. Get it right and the reward is heroic levels of grip with rocket ship acceleration out of the corners and down the straights, having you feeling like there's another 100 horsepower than they claim. At the speeds this car is capable of, things happen very quickly, so you really have to have patience not to turn in too early or too fast or squeeze the throttle too soon as any of those scenarios will trigger some pretty dramatic oversteer. And at this point in time, we should probably complain about the lack of a manual transmission. But you won't hear that from us. The PDK is unbeatable for track work, even leaving in an auto sport we never wished for a better downshift or for a gear to be held longer. After burning through three tanks of fuel on a long, hot track day and stopping on the ceramic composite brakes repeatedly from speeds as high as 175 miles per hour, the GT2 RS never complained or showed any ill effects. We can easily say it's the most capable streetcar we've ever driven on the track. Now, if you're wondering, government fuel economy ratings are 15 city, 21 highway, and 17 combined. A supercar? Yes, and it's priced accordingly at $294,250 just for starters. So unfortunately for us working stiffs, the GT2 RS is more for the money is no object types than your typical track day enthusiasts. 
Too bad, as this is one 911 that every real Porsche enthusiast should experience. It's capable of insane speeds, having briefly held the Nürburgring record as fastest production car ever to prove it. But much like every recent 911 we've driven, the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS is more than just the sum of its parts. It's a wonderfully engineered piece of automotive excellence with a Nirvana-like driving experience that nothing else can match.